A frozen baby monitor screen is a common issue that parents encounter, often caused by temporary software glitches or connection problems. Let's walk through the essential first steps to get your monitor working again. When your baby monitor screen freezes, it's typically due to software glitches, connection problems, or power supply issues. The good news is that most of these problems can be resolved with simple troubleshooting steps. Step one is to verify the power supply to both the camera and monitor. Check that both devices are properly connected to their power sources. If your monitor uses batteries, ensure they are adequately charged. Try plugging into a different outlet to rule out power supply problems. Step two is to perform a power cycle. Turn off both the monitor and camera completely, then wait 30 to 60 seconds. This waiting period allows any temporary software glitches to clear. Finally, turn both devices back on. This simple process resolves many frozen screen issues. If power cycling doesn't resolve the issue, try resetting the monitor. Most monitors have a small reset button, often located in a pinhole. Press and hold this button for five to 10 seconds until you hear an audio confirmation. Alternatively, you can access the reset option through the settings menu and follow the on-screen instructions. Different monitor brands may have specific reset procedures. VTEC monitors often benefit from a hard reset where you unplug the device, remove the battery if possible, and hold the power button for 15 seconds. Kogan monitors typically require holding the reset button for five to 10 seconds until you hear an audio prompt. Newer monitors like Nanit even allow you to reboot the camera directly from their mobile app, which is convenient and minimizes disturbance to your baby. These initial troubleshooting steps resolve most frozen baby monitor issues. Start with power checks, then try power cycling, and finally, attempt a reset if needed. Most problems can be solved with these simple procedures before moving to more advanced troubleshooting methods. When basic troubleshooting doesn't work, interference from other electronic devices is often the culprit. Cordless phones, Wi-Fi routers, and microwave ovens can disrupt your baby monitor's signal. If your camera and monitor have lost their connection, repairing them is necessary. Access your monitor's menu and follow the on-screen instructions to reconnect to the camera. Ensure your camera is within the specified range of the monitor. Thick walls and obstructions can weaken the signal. Also check that the camera is properly positioned and the lens is clean. Adjusting display settings like brightness and contrast might help resolve screen issues. Check your monitor's settings menu for these options. If problems persist after trying these steps, contact the manufacturer's customer support or check online communities for model-specific solutions. Remember the difference between a soft reset and factory reset. As technology advances, expect to see more baby monitors with app integration and improved connectivity features that will minimize these interference and connection issues.